straight up. Same thing over here. I just turned it. It's going through the midpoint and it's going straight up. Okay, that's a perpendicular bisector. What I want you to do for the next five seconds, when do you see these in real life? Turn, talk to your partner. When do you see these in real life? Five seconds, go. Actually, just think about walking up there and just think about walking up there and getting a close up. All right, student number. Number 22. 22. 22. Yes, ma'am. Give me an example of where you might see a perfect. What? A kite. Yes. You would see it in a kite. Excellent. Uh, thing number two. Where do you see a perfect bicycle in real life? Um, on a corner. On a corner? Yeah. That's kind of what I said. I don't really know. Out on a corner. <laughs> Because, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it looks like a triangle. Number 12. Where do you see something like this in real life? It looks kind of like this. Go Walmart. a little straight up. What? Walmart. Walmart? Find bunches and a bunch of things that look like that at Walmart. Okay. <laughs> Student number four. No, you never see something that looks like this in real life? A triangle. Yes, but where do you see triangles in real life? Only in math class. Never any place else? <laughs> Thing number one. Oh Graphs. Graphs, okay. But in real life, come on. Nobody's got anything? Yes, sir. Sailboat, great. Sails, yes, sir. Uh, like the street lights on the street. Street lights? Okay. So lights up here, it's casting light down? Yeah, I can see that, sir. Ace hardware. Ace hardware? How so? Big A in the sign, got a perpendicular, all right. Had some last ever say tents. Yeah, got the post right in the middle going up like this, okay. Your roof, if you look in your attic, you got posts going down like this, you got something all up in the middle, don't you? Hold in the middle, in the roof. Perpendicular bisectors happen all over the place, okay. So, we're gonna be making these now, okay. We're gonna be making these, so, on your graph, I want you to graph A at 3 comma negative 4 and B at negative 1 comma 10. Do that on the graph right now, please. So what we're going to do here, okay, we're just drawing a segment. Next thing we're going to do here, it says perpendicular bisectors go through the midpoint and they form a right angle. So what do you think the next thing we're going to do is? Find the midpoint. Well, we already did that, didn't we? You know the midpoint. So, on your graph, on that line you just made, draw the midpoint. It's at 1, 3. And you can do it the formula way. You could also do it just by counting. If I count, it's 14 down and 4 over. So, if I go 7 down and 2 over, that will give me the midpoint. That will give me the midpoint. So that's the midpoint. Now, for it to be perpendicular, what we have to do here is we have to find the slope of a perpendicular line. Well, we know the slope of this one is negative 7 over 2. We could do the formula, or we could also just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 down. And then 1, 2, 3, 4 over. So the slope was 14 over 4, negative 7 over 2. Say it with me. The slope of a perpendicular line, fraction flip, then change the sign. Again. 
The slope of a perpendicular line, fraction flipped and changed the sign. So if the slope of this one is negative 7 over 2, what's the slope of our new line going to be? Everybody, 1, 2, 3. 2 over 7. 2 over 7, awesome. The slope of our new line is 2 over 7. And it's got to go through this point right here. 1, comma, 3. So the last one, thing we have to do is write the equation of the line. I'm going to draw it first. Up to over 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that will give me my perpendicular bisector. So now I want you to do the same thing. I want you to write the equation of the line. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Fill in our new slope, fill in our uh, point, and then you can just leave it as a line in point slope form. You don't have to change it to y intercept. Slope intercept. You don't have to do that. This is easy now. See number eight. Who's eight? Is that Troy? That was Troy. Student number 13. All right, ma'am, what's the equation of this line? I have no idea. I'm getting all those numbers. Well, we had to go to the midpoint, right? Mm -hmm. So we got to plug in the x and y in here. So it'll be the y coordinate. Bless you. Y minus Bless you. Three. 3. Excellent. Equals? Two sevenths, that's the slope of the perpendicular line, great. X minus one. one. That's it, we're done. That is it, that's all you have to do. So, would you like a step-by-step -step chart here? Would that help? All right, step number one, what's the first thing we did? Shout it out, anybody. We did what? We found the midpoint. Found midpoint of AB. Great. Step two. What did we do next after we found the midpoint? Sir? Found the slope. Found slope of AB. And then step three, we found slope of our new line. Which is perpendicular. And then step four, once we got the slope, once we have the y-intercept, what do we do next? Sir? You can draw it or you just or you write the equation. Okay. Draw the new line or Write the equation. There you go, step by step. One, two, three, four, four steps. And that's it. Once again, what we're doing here is we draw a segment. Okay? We draw a segment. And if we want something going in the middle, straight up, that's a perpendicular bisector. Okay? It happens in walls. Do you, ever, do you ever want to hang something in a wall? Hang a picture in a wall? You have to find the midpoint, right? And once you find the midpoint, do you go up to the side like this to hang it? No, you go straight up. That's a perpendicular bisector. Okay? That's all we're making here. Go to the midpoint. To make the straight line, you have to use the slope of an opposite reciprocal. What you're going to do now Open up your book, page 206. You're going to do numbers 1 through 6. I will come around and check number 1 as you do it. After a few moments, uh, you will be working. Uh, after a few moments, we're going to do some quiz, quiz, trade. And then you'll, have, uh, you'll sit back down and you'll have the rest of your homework, which is a worksheet. And you can work on page 206. Page 206, you're going to do numbers 1 through 6. Go ahead and begin.